Do you own a business or a product or run social media for the company that you work for? Are you trying to figure out how to make your business's social media a little more exciting and engaging? I'm here today to share some of my tips on how you can start today making more engaging videos to get more views, to bring more awareness to your business. tip if you want to get started in making videos for your business or to make better videos is don't overthink it add value add value what you do for a living is not boring it's only boring if you make it boring but if you don't pride yourself in being somebody that's super super creative then just add value there's two things that you need to do to get engagement and views on your social media videos and that's educate and entertain educate what do you do how can you educate the people and the community around you on what you do and why it's important and or how do you entertain them with what you do and maybe you're lucky maybe you're one of those special businesses that could do both of those things at the same time so the reason why we're out here today in this snowy freezing weather is anthony the owner and one of the main techs brendan they have snowmobiles and we just thought let's make a video for social media of them pulling one another kind of like you would pull a water skier and he would have all his chimney stuff on like his his sweet brushes and everything and just make a video saying you know the snow can't stop us from coming to solve your chimney problems you all right oh yeah <laughs> well only a few wipeouts as long as we're going straight and steady straight and steady there we That's go what, straight and steady i'm good you know, something little like that, different from the norm, gets so much more engagement, because keep in mind, they're on social media to watch funny, out of the box type videos, just like this. So we'll see how this performs. Yeah. Brennan's got the 360 camera. He's got it, he's got it. All right. And it turns into a fun bonding experience for the workers. Okay. Lean back. There you go. There you go. He's got it. My next tip is this video is not for your website. It's for social media. So you have to have some fun with it. People are on social media to see videos of their friends, their uh, family, kids. If you run a service company like a, a chimney or fireplace repair company, people aren't necessarily going to Facebook thinking, oh yes, I can't wait to see what type of chimney they're repairing today. So every once in a while, think outside of your niche and have some fun. Think about what kind of video you can put out today that's branded, you know, by you and your staff and your company, but that's different than what you normally post. Trends are an awesome way to jump on board with this. Years ago, there was the planking challenge and the mannequin challenge. All these little things are kind of silly, but it's a great way for you to take something that's popular and put your business's spin on it. Next tip, gear doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you have. Gimbals and cameras like this are great. Action cameras, I know a lot of you have these and you're not using them. This is a 360 camera, but I don't care if this right here is the only camera you have. Gear doesn't matter, you need to go out and just press record. The cliche saying is the best camera is the one that you have on you. And so many of you are carrying around an iPhone or an Android phone that takes 4K, 24, some 4K 60 frames a second slow-mo in your pocket. Now will it look the same as the gimbal and the DSLR? No, but who cares? Once again, this is for social media. Embrace what gear you have. If you have a GoPro or an action camera that's been sitting on a shelf, pause. I know at least three clients right now who bought GoPros <laughs> to create content and they're just sitting on their shelves collecting dust. Brush that thing off and go out and actually record some of the things that you're doing today. <laughs> it's getting so cold out here. Let's see what the temperature is. 14 degrees. I can't feel this hand anymore. 
But my next tip is if you have a service company or a product and you have an off season, take advantage of it. Anthony here and his crew repair chimneys and clean and work on fireplaces. Fireplaces are getting used right now in this cold season here in New York. And yes, they're still inspecting a lot of those, but a chimney repair is all outside work and that's a big portion of what they do. And it's really hard to be working with concrete in this type of weather. So whatever service you have, if you have an off season, that is the perfect time to start creating content. Maybe you just start shooting photos. Maybe you just start shooting video. May okay, maybe you don't have any work to do. So what are you gonna take a photo of? What are you gonna take a video of? This is a perfect time to share educational content. Remember, add value to your community. What type of information can you share about your business? That's helpful. Maybe it's like Anthony here. Did you know that there's like over 25,000 Hold on, let me look up the stat real quick. How many chimney fires are there every year? There are over 25,000 chimney fires in the US every year every year maybe you provide value on how you can prevent those and how you can inspect your own chimney don't be afraid about that taking away business from you you're establishing yourself as the leader in this topic in your community so take advantage of the off season just because work is slow doesn't mean your social media has to be it is too cold to finish this video here we're running inside <laughs> bear with me So my last tip is to try something new, whether you're in like a creative slump or you've been posting for a long time and it's, you know, not getting a lot of engagement. You know, there's a reason for that. So try something new. So if you're someone who struggles with coming up with, you know, new ideas, take the approach of document don't create. That's something that I learned from Gary V and it takes all the pressure off of, you know, having to come up with the next creative viral video and that's just document what you're doing. And by doing something new, maybe you document a new service or a new technician or a new staff member or document something different. The truth is whether you have a hundred followers or a hundred thousand, your followers care about you and they want to know more about you. That's why they're following you. So I hope you got something out of this video. Take one of these tips today and apply them to uh, you know, your business or to you know the social media account that you manage and i guarantee you you'll start to see more engagement which then brings more awareness which then brings more service to your business but that's it for this if you like this video please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed already just hit that little red button down below and thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I try to post helpful videos like this, whether it's about gear that I use or about making videos. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.